Hello, everybody. Welcome to this edition of Coffee Time with Myron. I'm your host, Byron. My guest is current free agent of Major League Baseball, Josh. How do you pronounce your name? Oish? Oshish? Oshish. Oshish. Okay, I was, I was, I was close, close. So, how are you doing tonight? And I hope you're staying safe, you and your family. I'm doing great. Everything's. Uh... Everything's great up here in Maine. Perfect. We are streaming live on YouTube uh, and available next day on all your podcasting apps. So give it a shot next day. I'll send it to you after we're done here. But let's get to it. So I got to ask you. I know we just had I, – I had a couple guests on previously. I asked them this too. Uh, what do you think of the Olympics? I know you watched it. What do you think of Team USA winning silver? And do you think we'll ever get to the point of like Team Japan and allow our stars to play for Team USA? I actually didn't watch any of the Olympics, <laughs> ah, okay. so uh, I'm not. Exa- I didn't even know they won silver. To be honest with you, so. Yeah, I, I can't really comment on what, nope, what happened. No so. worries. No worries. You're fine. But uh, do you think, though, uh, they did not allow – I know Major League Baseball did not allow its stars to go over there because it was during season. Now, Japan allowed their all-stars. They stopped the season to allow them to play. Do you think MLB will ever allow that? With the amount of money that some of these teams are paying some of these guys, there's no chance. No chance? Yeah. It's going to be minor leaguers or college players. That's, that, that's tough, too. That, that's t- I, I hate to agree with you, but that is tough. I mean, I want to see the I want to see the All-Stars, but like you said, yeah, I just don't see it with too much money involved. <laughs> You're never going to see Mike Trout. <laughs> he gets paid $400 million. There's no chance he goesn't play in the Olympics. Yeah, doesn't doesn't true. even play. He doesn't even play in the All Star game. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right on that. He doesn't. Really, yeah, it was like not me. Maybe, maybe what makes like one or two innings, and now and that's it. Yeah, you don't really play. Um, but let's get into your college career. You uh, played baseball at Oregon State, and you missed the 2010 season due to Tommy John surgery. Um, what do you remember that, or did you did you were you drafted at that moment? Getting scouted? What after you knew you were getting that surgery? How did you want to approach the following year? Do you want to come back to college, or did you want to play professionally at the time of your injury? Uh, I always wanted to play professional. Uh, that's I, I pursued baseball for that reason, and uh, that year I had TJ at the beginning of the college season. And at the end of the year, I got drafted by the Angels in the seventh round. And I, money situation and school situation didn't really work out. So I went back to school. I uh, finished my degree at Oregon State, got drafted in the sixth round by uh, the Giants. And it's kind of <laughs> history after that. <laughs> well, take us through that uh, draft night and how you got scouted did you know you were going to be taken in the sixth round how did that process work out i was actually on the board uh i was number 43 on the board to be taken so supplemental first round Mm -hmm. and i uh tore my subscap muscle the day before the draft against the regional game first georgia Mm -hmm. and uh i fell all the way to the sixth round and that's kind of uh kind of what happened hey at least you got taken somebody saw something in you to take <laughs> you regardless of your injury i mean they didn't back down yep so they must have saw that you had talent which you do i mean i i remember your i remember your career mostly with the san francisco giants of course because that's where you played the longest yep but yeah that you and you do I, I I do see the talent that why somebody took you and did not fall off 
fall upon you after your, that injury. But yeah, you 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 got some talent. You will be getting into a team soon, like you said, like we've texted before. Usually that process begins at the beginning of the year. Um, but what have you been doing since then? Have you been working out, training? What have you been doing since being released? It enjoyed some time with my family. <laughs> I haven't had the summer, even like a month during the summer in like 15 years, something like that. So just hanging out with my wife, my two kids, just enjoying it right now. And then uh, I'll get back into the swing of things here soon. What about fishing? We talked about that too. How, when was oh. the last time you fished? <laughs> oh, it's actually been a couple weeks since I fished, but uh, because most of the stripers are they're leaving right now. But we've had some pretty bad weather here, so we just got uh, three inches in the last two days of rain. Oof. So, Oof. yeah, it's been makes all the rivers muddy, makes it tough for fishing. Yeah, until today, we had our well, rough spout over here in uh, Florida. We had a dry spell until it decided to finally pour today. We had tornadoes, sites, <laughs> tornadoes, and everything. So, yeah, up, up until today, we had a drought here. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, been, it's been pretty good fishing for the most part, but, uh, yeah, I haven't gone in like a couple weeks. So you get the call up with the San Francisco Giants against the Washington Nationals. What was that experience like? Did you have goosebumps being called up? And what where were you or yeah, what where were you when you first got the call that you were going to be called up to the majors? About to start the game in triple A in Sacramento. And I got the call. Got flew all the way there. I got if I can remember right, it was this. It was the third or fourth inning. I showed up and ran out to the bullpen, and I ended up throwing later that that like the sixth or seventh inning or something like that. Yeah. So it was uh. Yeah, I showed up. I showed up late, and uh, it was kind of a dream come true, and just one of that's what you've been working your whole life for. So it was a uh, kind of a relief, and also really exciting for a new journey. Did you have any goosebumps? I would say I was more excited than anything. I wasn't really nervous or anything, but you know, I was I was really excited. Do you remember? Who, do you remember who you? Uh, do you remember if you got anybody out that inning? Who you got out? Yeah, first strikeout, Esposito, uh, and then I got Harper and uh, Worth out. <laughs> See, two two Hall of Famers right there. <laughs> Harper's going to be a Hall of Famer and Work's going to be a Hall of Famer. So there you go. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it was a good inning. <laughs> that is a good inning. Uh, so then you, I see you, you got recalled later that later that year in August once Mike Leak went up and went on a DL. Now, did you did you make a start or were you in relief? when you got the other call up that's when Mike Leak went to the DL. No, I've, I've always been a reliever. Reliever? I got, okay. I got sent down because Jeremy Affel came off the DL. Ah, okay. And I got recalled like five days later or something like that and called back up, and then I stayed up for the rest of the time. Now, what's your mindset as a reliever compared to a starter? Is, is there a different process, or is it the same? What is it? Nah, you just got to be ready to throw every day. Uh, starters, they have their schedule every fifth day. They know what's going to happen. Reliever, show up to the park. You might not throw. You might not throw for a week. You might throw every day of the week. So it kind of – being a reliever, you got to show up to work every day. Did you ever Did you ever want to be a starter or did you just want to be a reliever? No, I, I hate being a starter. So then you would hate you would hate what the teams are doing now. Then the opener. I've actually I've done, I've been an opener before. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, really? I don't really like it that much. That that's gotta that's gotta change your mindset as a reliever though when you're an opener, right? That gotta change your mindset, don't it? Yeah, because it's it's like go out there, throw one or two innings, and then your day's done. Kind of sit around it. <laughs> 
it's usually the opposite for a reliever. It's usually sit around for like five or six innings and then it's your turn. Uh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Do you remember what team that you were with? Was it was it the Red Sox when you? Yeah, the I Red can Sox. see the Red Sox doing that. Was it the Red Sox? Yeah, I had the Red Sox. I did it one time. Uh, <laughs> uh well, you you went through it, so I mean, hopefully you don't have to do it again. But um, even with these teams doing that, I don't. I don't I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand that. I don't like the opener rule. Ever since the Rays did it and they started it, everybody is like a copycat league. I hate it. It's, I don't like the opener at all. What's it's your all take on the opener now. since you did it? It's whatever keeps you in the big leagues, I'll do, but it's all about analytics. So, and that's the way it, the game's going. Is. So, got to just deal with it. It, 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 you're right. It's, it's so analytics nowadays. It's ridiculous. Like, what happened to what happened to the days to where it was all about instinct? And now it's like, if it's not on paper, oh, somebody's going, you're going to be taken out. You're going to be taken out. You, it's, it's ridiculous. What happened to instinct? I, I, I grew up just like you did yeah. watching that kind of baseball. Do you ever see that kind of baseball ever coming back? No chance. There's too much. There's too much money. Guys are getting paid in the front office to sit there and break down numbers, and that's how guys are getting drafted now. That's how guys are talking about spin rate, spin efficiency, how hard you throw, how big you project to be, how fast your bat speed is, barrel rate. Oh, this, there's there's no chance it goes back. <laughs> now, since you pitched, since you pitched for the Red Sox and you pitched at Fenway, how difficult is it to pitch at Fenway with the Green Monster? Not not difficult. It actually it saves a lot of homers. Any line drive homer that's pulled to the left to left field, it keeps in the ballpark, so it actually helps you. Like okay, okay. I, I, can I, wouldn't, see that. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say it's. There's other parks that are way tougher to pitch in than Fenway. Well, what? Well, what about the one park you pitched in first when you first started your career? PN. Uh, well, it was called P. Uh, what was it called? I think it was called PNC. Now it's called Oracle. It's Oracle AT&T park. when I was there. Oh, AT&T. It was one of those. I don't. It was one of those names. They, ballparks keep changing their names all the time, you know. So, um, how was that? How how was that compared to Fenway? Is it is it a hitters park, pitchers park? Pitchers park. Ball doesn't go out there. <laughs> Very marine cool. layer. It's changed. The marine layer. The fences in, but it's definitely uh, it's definitely a pitchers park. Would you say because of the marine layer is that is that what happens when the uh, ballparks are close to the water, as they say. It's because of the marine layer. Why yeah, they but it also the wind. The wind was always blowing in. Who would you say? Who would you say out of your career so far has been the most uh, difficult to strike out? Just to get out is Trevor Story. He owns me. Oh really? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and and oh. the minor leagues and the big leagues. <laughs> oh, so, so he, so he gives you the most fit. Who, who do you, who do you, uh, who do Michael you dominate? Conforto right behind him. Who, who, who would you say you dominate the most? Then who, who, who have you hit? Who have you uh, struck out the most? I like facing Jake Lamb. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, what I think he was, what was he at the time? Arizona. Yeah, he was at Arizona. Yeah, good player. So you had, you had, uh, you had the, okay. So you had the most fits with, dominated with him. Most fits with him. really. NL NL West was the NL West was the division that that you did good and you gave you fits, huh? It's just that you face when being in the same division, you face them way more. 
That is true. One out of let's see, you guys face each other what eighteen times out of your your division eighteen times out of a hundred and sixty two game season. Yeah, being a being a lefty reliever, you're uh constantly in every game, so Bochi, Very Bochi, true. uh Bochi would run you out there every day. <laughs> That's true. How was Bochi as the manager? Did you learn a lot from him or did you learn anything from him? I guess- he was a he was a good manager. I was also I, I feel like I learned a lot more from the players. I I was up I was up with all the guys that won three World Series, so it was kinda I learned more from them than I did Boach. Yeah, did you I can't I can't I can't remember. Were, were you I'm I'm sorry, I'm drawing a blank. But I know it's sad. <laughs> I know it's sad, but were you were you a part of were you a part of or did you leave when the uh, Red Sox won their last championship in 2018? Did you leave? I was with the Red. I was with the Giants in 18. I was with. I got drafted by them in 11. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm I, like I. I, I, I had to 2018, and then 19. I, I had done some research, team. but my research sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sorry if I got that mixed up. So. Oh yeah, I was, I was only with them last year. Uh, how how was that season last year? Sixty games, no fans. What Tough. was what was that like? Tough. It's basically games that count, and it felt like practice. I bet. I bet. Even though they implemented what the crowds and all that, I, I just. That- it just had to feel weird. Didn't do anything. <laughs> I I bet I bet. So yeah, it just had to be like practice, you guys. Yeah, it, it felt like I was just practicing. What? Uh, so you had the one year. So okay. So Alex Cora got fired at the end of the nineteen season. Then you play for a new manager in twenty twenty. Okay. Now they all of a sudden win this year. And go to the championship series. What in the world went wrong with you guys in 2020? Was it the manager? What was the deal? Why could? Why did you guys have a horrible season? It was uh injuries, COVID, no fans, travel, 60 games season. It all just combined. I okay, yeah, that's reasonable. I mean, all a lot of teams like were in your shoes, so I guess I could say that. I I could say that, but it's it, it's just a lot of people are saying just like they are still. When Alex Cor got in trouble for the whole cheating scandal, just like with the Astros, uh, do you do you feel like? That had played a role into how horrible you guys were as well last year. Like, the manager just got fired because of the cheating scandal. Do you think that played any kind of role whatsoever as well? No. No? No, there's just so, there's all the implementation of, like, no watching film. Like, look at JD. JD's a 300-plus career hitter. And Mm. he hit, like, 230 or something like that that year. He's way better than that. He, everything was messed up, and that has nothing to do with the manager. True. True. <laughs> so you play with the Reds this year. Correct. Yeah. That was your last team. Um, <laughs> what do you what do you remember your time? So uh, the, you remember your time with with them? Would you like enjoy? Would you enjoy pitching in, in the Great American Ballpark, which, by the way, is a hitter's ballpark? Did you hate pitching there? Oh, it's the most hitter-friendly park in baseball. It is by far. But yeah, I, I enjoyed my time there. I, I enjoyed all the guys on the team. How how was Votto? Was he oh, one of the jokers in the clubhouse? No, I I hung out with him off the field and everything. We went fishing. It, could he fish? Could he fish? Just as good as you? Just getting into it. 
Uh, yeah, because you said uh, you got, because you got, you got, went into text form with me. You said you got Samarja into texting. I could, into fishing. I could never see Samarja fishing. Oh, he, he, he probably fishes more than I do. He, and he's older than me. He's probably been fishing longer than I have. Yeah, yeah, but you, you, you said to me though, you, you got him into it though. No, 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 no. I got, I met his buddy through fishing. Oh, okay. I, okay. My bad. My bad. Okay. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get him into fishing. Yeah, he, he has his own boat and everything down in Florida. I gotcha. So what, what do you guys, what do you guys mainly, mainly catch? Is it what you sent the picture of the snook? Do you catch tarpon? What is it? Where are we fishing at? <laughs> I don't know. Where 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 uh, where, you, where do you normally fish? <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> I've caught a fish in almost every single state. Fair so enough. It, it really depends on where I'm at. Just I'll I'll go fish for anything. I just I just if like you weren't pitching if you weren't pitching if you weren't pitching in the majors would you want to do that as a professional uh, as a professional uh, uh, sport fishing. I've I've thought about being like a fishing guide, but uh, I'm not sure if I want to do that because uh, most of your money's made on the weekends, and I feel like that's my time to hang out with my kids. Well, there you go. I got that. That's about the same. But I feel that way too, even though I'm not in that profession. That's the only time I spend with my kids too is the weekends. So I feel you on that one. <laughs> um, but. Let's talk a little bit now about the World Series. I don't know if you kind of followed it. Do you, who do you think is going to win the World Series this year? The Braves or the Astros? I'm hoping for the Braves. I got two buddies on there, so uh, I'm rooting for them. And how many games do you think? Do you think it's going to go all seven? Ooh, with Charlie Morton out, that one might be tough. Probably I all agree seven. with that one. I agree with that one. That's going to be tough. But if any if anybody can do it, it's the Braves. I mean, these two teams are spinning images of each other. The, the, the Braves are hitting really well right now. They're they're pitching well. They're hitting well. They're hot. So look at the Nationals. They started off very similar team. They started off the season really bad, and they finished really strong. What do you make of people saying that, that an 88-win te team should not be in the World Series? What do you make of people saying that? Because a lot of people are saying that, just like how the Rays were last year, that the Braves shouldn't even be in the World Series because they're not, quote-unquote, a popular team like the Red Sox, Yankees, Dodgers, Astros, etc. Win your division. <laughs> It don't matter how many wins you get if you win your division. That means you should be in. And plus, like you said too, it depends on how hot you get, right? It's mainly how hot you are going yeah. into going into the postseason. Yeah, the Braves weren't even in first place in like August. They were below five hundred. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they weren't. They were. Yeah, they were like I think what second or third in their division, and then they yeah, they so traded. Doesn't matter if you win by a mile or or one foot, <laughs> it's all the same. You still win. What do you think of the uh, Giants season this year? That was a surprise team. I I didn't expect 106 wins out of them this year. It's, like, it's good to see the guys that I played with, uh, Buster and Crawford and Belt. They're still uh, still doing it. Yeah, a lot of people they had them down they in the might, dump. They might, have ring under the belt. they might, yeah, they 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 possibly could, yeah. But a lot of uh, it was just it was just a shocker that a lot of people I did because I know they're good players, but a lot of people had them down because they're just old. It's like why? Just old. because they're just because they're old don't mean they're not good anymore. <laughs> Yeah, they're what, 33, 34 years old? That's not that old. Like, Votto's still doing it, and he's 37 or 38. Ex yeah, exactly. So that, I mean, to, to compete with the Dodgers like they did, 
that's something because I'm a Padre fan. I was totally disappointed in the Padres this year. I I know they had injuries, but every team had injuries. I'm I I can't condone how bad of a season they had, but to go up against the Dodgers that the Giants did, I was so happy that they were that they won the division from them. I was so sick and tired of seeing the Dodgers win that division for God knows how long it's been. I think what six, seven years now, they've won it as a division in a row. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't even remember the last time. I'm trying to think I can't. when the last time somebody else won the division. I know, right? It, I know. It, I, I know it wasn't when you were with the Giants. I know that for sure. I, I, we never, I, I know we never that. Won the division. Yeah. Yeah, you guys never won it. Uh, that's ooh, wow. That's all, the way back to, that's all the way back to 15. So um, it could be one of the World Series teams that the Giants had, maybe 12, that they might have won the division. Is there any game so far that you had in your career? I know you've had a short career. So far, and I know you're looking to make it more longer. Um, is there a certain game that that you remember the most that you played in? Probably just the first one. Just my call up was probably the coolest one so far. No playoff games. Not- yeah, I was part of with the Giants in 16 with the playoff, so I just did pitch. Yeah, probably just my call up. Fair enough. I would say that. Anybody would say that. That's true. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So, like, you, like we said, you're a free agent. You're a free agent now. Is there a certain team you're looking to land on or do you not care? You just want to get out there and pitch. I I don't I yeah, I don't really care what team. Uh just have a good opportunity, at least give me a chance to get called up if I'm throwing well. Uh other than that, it's kind of just like I'd be willing to go over to Asia if, if they called, but I don't know. It's getting towards the end of my career, so we'll see. You really think so? You think you're getting? You think you're getting there at that point? Oh, you just told the. He just said Crawford, Belt, and Posey were old. So, and I'm almost the same age. That's not me saying that. Now, that's not me. <laughs> <laughs> that's casual fans that don't even know the game of baseball saying that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I think I might be the same age. Uh, I'm like one year younger than Belt. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I won't call that old. So, I mean, I, I, I'm 30, so I'm, I'm I'm older than Bumgarner. So, <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. And he's still pitching. I don't know how long he'll he's going to pitch for any, but yeah, he's. I think he's on the downfall of his career too. So, I, a I lot just, of innings. Huh? He's got a lot of innings on that arm. Yeah, the, 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 oh yes, he does. He's like one of the true starters remaining that'll actually go the full nine if need be. He's one of the very few left. You don't see that anymore. Six straight years of him going over two hundred innings. Yeah, by far. Him, Scherzer, Verlander. God bless him. Hopefully, he comes back next year and dominates. Hopefully, but yeah, those three. Uh, I don't know. Can you consider Stra- uh, Strasburg a nine inning if he wanted to go nine inning? He's always. Or do, you see, or do you see the injuries coming up and fighting him? That why they won't let him go nine. Kershaw when he's healthy, but he's not. He hasn't been healthy for a full season in like five years. No, he hasn't. I could see Snell. He's he should have gone nine in the whole World Series game. 
the way he was pitching. Yeah, he's, the, the analytics. He's, he's got to get a few more years under his belt before <laughs> he can go into that conversation. You're talking about guys with 10 years. He's not even close to 10. <laughs> true. True. He's just, that's true. That's true. You're right. Uh, <laughs> you do you see do you see that do you see that era of you, you see that era of uh, pitching going away of the nine innings? Oh, it's already gone. When those guys when those guys are gone, it's over. You won't see no other pitcher do that no more. No nope. workhorses. Now you won't see guys go over two hundred innings. In now why is that? Five. Do you think why is that? Do you think it's because the pitchers nowadays grow over a hundred. Is that why, or is it, do you think it's just analytics driven? Analytics, and it's all about striking everybody out. And you always throw more pitches when you strike people out. There's a reason Glavin, Maddox, Moyer—they all threw under 100 pitches in nine innings and get through it because they pitch to contact. It's not nobody pitches to contact anymore. Now, if you don't mind me asking, what do you think of the unwritten rules of baseball? Do you like them? I know you know of them. I know you know them. As yeah. a player. <laughs> Which one are you referring to? <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I, I like most of the unwritten rules. Like the showing up one? That's one. I, I would say <laughs> you're going to be excited as you want. But there's no point in showing somebody up. Like if you if you hit a homer, there's no point in showing up the pitcher. You already hit a homer. You already you already embarrassed them. Touche, touche. So do you think Fernando got what he deserved then last year when that whole thing was going on? Fernando Tatis when the Rangers manager drilled him. I don't know the whole backstory on that, so there could be something else that was part of that. So I can't really comment and say it was right or wrong. But have you ever engaged in your in your career in baseball? Have you engaged in that sort of thing as well, where a player you hit a player, they deserved it? I think there's there's certain players that deserve it. I also think there's players that don't deserve it that do get hit have you i think have you, Anderson from the white Sox get hit hit a lot for being excited and he he doesn't deserve, deserve to get hit true true have you engaged in that in your career engaged in in what throwing at people yeah i've never hit anybody on purpose uh there you go Actually, I, I think in, in my five years of big leagues, I've only, I think I have like four hit by batters or something like that. So there you go. Well, hey, that's like I said, that's one of the unwritten rules in baseball. So you, you at least didn't go by that one. So that's a good thing. I'm trying to think of the other ones. I, I forget. I forget. There's so many of there's so many of them nowadays. Um, now, baseball implemented last year uh, the extra inning rule, I believe, where there's a runner on second. Did you like that to shorten games last year? It's a terrible rule. Do you think they'll get rid of that? I, I honestly think that for the regular season that there should be – you play nine innings, and if you're tied, you're tied, it's done game over There's so no you think that changing the way the game, game is played by putting somebody on second base so you think about bringing back ties then correct is that what you would like to see you would like ties being back in the game yeah and then when playoffs roll around then you play extra innings i actually like i i actually like that because i remember back in the, i think it was i think it was I forget when that, how long ago that was. I know it was a long ass time ago, but yeah, you're right. I, I like that better because in the regular season, there's no need to waste pitchers' arms, especially yep. in extra innings. 
There's no need. If you're, if, and if you're trying to change the end record at the end of the season. Right, right. I, I agree with you on that. I, I think they should go back. They, they need to go back to that, I think. And like you said, postseason is where they need to stick to <clears throat> the extra innings. I agree with you because – there's no point in the regular season and wasting arms. That's what causes more injuries, correct? Yep. yep. I, I I I I agree. Um, I and what about the uh, um, automated uh, umpire? What's your take on that? Do you think the Do you think Major League Baseball is going to go with that like they are right now in the minors? If if they do, the hitter's batting average is already dropping every single year. There'd mm-hmm. be a lot of guys that don't even hit 200. There'd be balls, curveballs, and sliders that bounce that would be called strikes because they catch the plate. I agree with that, and that'd be the downfall. That, I'm, there, that'd be a downfall. So balls, there's so many balls that are top of the zone are right at the top of the zone. They're touching the lines that are called balls, and those are all strikes. Or do you like the catch set up away, and you throw a ball in, and it's in the zone, but if you threw completely wrong side of the plate, they never give you that. Uh-huh. That's a strike. Do you, do, you like, do you like replay in the game, or do you think that has uh, uh, made the game go longer? That's – I hate how long – it takes i like the idea but like they literally play the reviews up on the big screen and it takes the umpires another five ten minutes to figure it out i agree because they guys are sitting there there eating sandwiches or something instead of watching the games i agree with you on that they take way too long some calls especially the ones down the line when they're hitting home run, when the when they when a player hits a home run and it's close to being fair or foul, like the evidence shows, the replay shows right there and there. I've been to a ball game, just like you've witnessed it as a player. The replay shows it's a home run. Call the damn home run. Why extend it? <laughs> yeah. My my take in how to speed up the game. You can take away reviews, take away all technology, no scout reports, no no watching film, none of that. Open up the strike zone, make the hitter swing. I like that idea because then nobody can cheat. It's fair game. The Astros, Red Sox, they were the ones who got caught doing that. There's, I know there's more teams that – more than likely do it, but so regardless, whatever, you know, there's no F. They didn't get caught. Those teams didn't get caught like those two did. But regardless, like I agree with you. Take that junk away. You don't need that stuff. That's how. That's how. That's implementing cheating. I agree with you on that. Make it. Make it fair game. I, the game I, go real fast. If you got rid of exactly. That. Exactly, and why, and there'd be no cheating. The only the only yeah. cheating, which isn't really cheating, is if a runner's on second, trying to steal, trying to trying to steal the pitcher's signs or whatever. But that's on the pitcher, right? Yeah. But, I mean, if they're that dumb to to give away their pitch, that's on them. I mean. That's why you guys hide the ball. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, I agree with you. I mean, this whole this whole crap with this whole crap with scouting reports. Okay, well maybe scouting reports I could maybe see, but other than that, the video that crap has to go. It really does. Yeah, it's not reports. scouting reports are all analytical. True. Okay. Yeah. Uh, true. True. Then they get all the analytical stuff off of video. So. True. True. 
But like you said, I don't see the game changing. Though. I really don't. Unless some other team changes something, like what the Rays did, nobody else is going to do it. Like I said with, earlier to you with the opener, if somebody does something different, then maybe the game will change. But till right now, I don't see nothing changing. And I I think you agree with me on that, correct? Nothing is changing. Not changing. The, the fans love homers, and you get homers from launch angle and all the analytical stuff. So making the strike zone smaller, changing the ball so it launches further. Now, if you were a pitcher, how would you use that in analytics terms as a pitcher? Well, what what did how would you would you use your pitcher pitches as analytics? How so you're as a pitcher, you're a pitcher. So if you use analytics, how 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 is that? Like what what do you determine with your pitches? Like what what determines well, like the percentage of whatever you use to throw. It tells you which pitches are the bet that your best pitches and how often you should use them. And it also tells you the hitter's weaknesses. So what would you say would be your best pitch that you would you use? Your fastball? Am I facing a right hander or a left hander? Both right, left, right and left. If I'm facing a left hander. My cutter is probably my cutter. best pitch. And what about righty? Probably my changeup. Changeup. So, what, 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 uh, what, how many pitches do you have in your arsenal? Uh, uh, arsenal? Four seamer, cutter, two seamer, changeup, slider. Okay. But you don't use all those pitches to both both sets of hitters. What gave you the most strikeout uh, efficiency? Well, early in my career, my fastball did, but I don't throw nearly as hard as I used to. Like uh, so my changeup, my slider, or my cutter it depends on the hitter. So it just like you're saying, it basically just depends on age. Then how you get how you get batters out by your pitches. So like, you, like you said, if it was early in your career and you had a fastball, you would get the pitcher, uh, you would get the hitters out more that way. Yep. Okay. True. That's fair enough. With, by age, okay, I can see that velocity. Okay. <laughs> since you were in, since you were in the NL, did you ever get the hit? Yeah, I have four big league at bats. Did you like hitting? Did you like that part? No, I don't. I don't want to hit at all. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't see the. I don't see the NL getting rid of that. That's been how many years? Couple minutes that they have no DH. But then again, I don't know. We're talking about universal it's gonna DH. Soon. It's gonna go here soon. You think? Oh, if the fans want more runs, there's always more runs scored in the AL than there in the NL. That is true. Well, there, when you think about it, though, well, there's better teams in the AL than there are in the NL. There's better teams. You would say there's better teams in the in the AL. Yeah, by far. By far. I don't know about. That. By far. <laughs> you you you. Well, well. <laughs> the Orioles. I get over there in the AL, and they're terrible. Well, okay, that's just one team. That's just one team. Well, okay, maybe the Royals. Okay, Royals, Royals, and uh, uh, Orioles. Yes, that yes, those two teams are horrible. But you, you, you got the A's. They're pretty good. The Blue Jays, Giants, Red Sox, Dodgers, Yankees, San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, yes. I, okay, that's three teams in the NL, but I mean, <laughs> okay, Braves. Okay, okay, I get it. Phillies, <laughs> but but I mean, the records records show it itself. Besides the two teams that dominated dominated in the NL, the records in the AL were better. Yeah, because they 
playing sh- terrible teams. <laughs> the AL East beat up on the Orioles every day. <laughs> you're, you're trying to say that if the Dodgers didn't get to play the Orioles every every game, they wouldn't have a hundred. 10 wins every the, season. The Dodgers, the Dodgers, the Dodgers played two. I hate to say it because I am a Padre fan, but I'm being honest. This year they suck. So they played they the them and the Giants played beat down two sorry teams in the NLS. The Diamondbacks and the Padres. Oh, and the Rockies, sorry. Rockies are another one too. That were down in the dumps this year. The Padres are definitely not a bad team. Not they were this year. They were this year. Bad would be saying they went. They lose not. They lose ninety plus games a year. That's a bad team. Yes, yes, very true. I do a agree with you on that. A five hundred team is not a bad team. No, I agree with you on that. Yes, but this year. Just how the, just the they were supposed to compete with the Dodgers, but they didn't this year. They were just horrible, which is unreasonable because teams do have bad years. You unfortunately were a part of those as well. So you know, you know how it is. Like it just it, it's a part of injuries and just teams just having a bad bad year. It happens. It happens. I would just say. The Padres are better than what their record is. The reason they had a bad record is they were playing two of the best teams in baseball. That is, uh, I agree. I agree on that. I, I agree on that. But they 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 also did not help themselves either by by having by not playing good. They didn't play good. They got out. They got out hit a lot. By the pitching, which they have good pitching, they have good pitching themselves. Snell, Darvish, I mean, those so guys. Some, they had some injuries to some big time players, and that was that was kind of their downfall. Correct. Now, do I see them rebouncing next year? Yes, of course, without a doubt. But like you said, it all it all come down to injuries. That's all. That's how every year is. It's injuries and how hot you are and how hot you are. I'm. I want to say middle of the year, but honestly, recently shows it goes what at the end of the year with with not only just the Braves this year, but like you said, Washington a few years back. It just depends. And that's what that's what I like about the game of baseball. You just never know. Anybody can win on any given day. Heck, even even the sorry Orioles could. I'm not saying they will. I'm not saying they will. But even the sorry Orioles could come back next year and be a wild card team. Yeah, <laughs> it's very possible. Like you never know. Like look at look at the White Sox this year. That was another one. Nobody projected them to do anything this year. And with Tony Larusa as manager, look what look what they were able to do. The, the Indians were bad this year, and they were supposed to be good. Yeah, they were. But the Twins, right. there's an the AL Twins, team for you. Yes, that's terrible. That's that's true. That's another team. That was another team that was a shocker too. It's the Twins. They might yeah. have lost. They got close to a hundred games lost. They yes, they did. Yeah, and then you got the AL West. I mean, the Angels and the <laughs> and the Rangers. <laughs> yeah, just, Seattle was actually good this year. Seattle was yes. You know, they're, you, they're the only team that has yet to be be in a World Series throughout their I, entire yeah. history. So I can't believe that, <laughs> which is it's crazy because they were good in the early 2000s. They were, yeah. With A-Rod, Johnson. Well, no, not Johnson, but yeah. Well, at the beginning, yeah. Yeah. Griffey, Cameron. Yeah, they had players. It was 
never won it. They never went to the World Series. Won 116 games and we're out in the first series. <laughs> yeah. How crazy is that? That shows you when you get hot. Yeah. So what are you what are you looking forward to coming this spring training? Got to start with uh, signing with somebody first. <laughs> I agree. Kind of go from there. I agree. Now, did, now before you were released um, during the season, did you have any? Did you stay throughout the whole season with the Reds, or were you cut? Yeah, I signed, in the middle? I signed with them last December, and then I went to spring training with them. Went to AAA okay. for, for two months, got called up, was out there for a little while, then, then I got released. Okay, so you were released, what, a couple months before the season ended? Yeah, like July something. Yeah, I can't, I don't remember the exact date, but it July did, something. Did you, have any, did you have any takers during the season after you got cut? Injuries? No, did you have any takers, like, scout, uh, scouting oh, you? I was talking to the Astros, but nothing. That fell through. Oh, that fell through? Do you know why? No. Never, it never got that far. Oh, it never did? No talks? There was talk, but it never, like, advanced. Uh, I gotcha. I gotcha. That would, that would have been fun. That would have been fun for you, going to the Astros. Yeah, it's fun to play with any of the teams. <laughs> you would have been in a World Series this year. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's gotta come on. That's gotta come. That's gotta sting. That's gotta sting a little bit to you, don't it? Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. One bit. You could have. You could have got a World Series. Yeah, but I, <laughs> I didn't sign with them, so like it, can't, it doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> I wasn't with them. Yeah, it would have bothered me if they were like, "Hey, we're gonna sign, we're gonna sign you." Send me to AAA and then release me like a week later instead of calling me up. Like that would be something that stings. But I never signed with them, so it doesn't matter. Very true. So we we got a few minutes left with you. I got a couple more questions for you. Um, One word that defines your career so far. What what would you uh, what would you say? Oh, it's been a journey, journey. <laughs> been a journey, journey man, huh? Been with uh, six different organizations, and could be seven. And, could uh, be yeah. And then uh, been up and down a lot. Uh, met a lot of good people, met a lot of interesting people, and taking me to a lot of different places. And my final question to you, I'll leave you off on this. <laughs> Sorry. Out of all the players you played played with, who took you under your wing and taught you how how it was to be in the majors? Who took you? Who took you under your wing? Oof! I actually have three guys from the Giants, and they all played different parts, but it was pretty equal on all of them. Mm-hmm. Jeremy Affel. Mm-hmm. Go one. Lopez and Matt go one. There you go. There you go. I I, I say three future Hall of Famers. Because it's a, each one had a, a different role, <laughs> and they were all. I learned from all of them, so I can't I can't pick one. But those. those well, are yeah, th those are all three different style of pitching too. They were all different style pitchers. Yeah, and it wasn't all, all just on the field. It was some stuff off the field too. So. What 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 happened to Matt Cain? I, I I knew he was pitching there for a while, but what did he finally decide to retire? I, what happened yeah, to him? Retired. No injuries got him. 
Yeah, injuries got him. He had a lot of innings on that arm. But he's, had to, uh, because... he's uh, he, tra- he races now. He races uh, Porsche and Ferrari cars. Really? Yep. Wow. He's, he's, uh, he's building a team and trying to take it to the uh, 24 hour of Le Mans. How many races have you been to him? Been to of his? I haven't been to any of his, but me and him used to go to go kart tracks and race each other. <laughs> did he? Did he? Did he beat you? He beat me a few times, but I beat him a few times too. <laughs> oh, can't go wrong with go karts. I love go karts. Nope. Can't go wrong there. <laughs> can't go wrong. But thank you. It was a pleasure. I hope you get. I hope you continue your career. I hope you get scouted by a good team. Regardless, if it's not a good team, I don't care. I hope you continue your career and you continue on the track you are. So hopefully, hey, maybe one day being in a Hall of Fame. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> don't, don't count on it. <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying. Who knows? You never know. You never know. But. Uh, it was a pleasure. I I'm gonna I got your info. Let's stay in touch. I'd love to when you're in this area ever again. I'd love to go fishing with you. Take the kids out. You know, get some good Sounds fish. Good. So Thanks, definitely, uh, come on as much as you want. I appreciate it. And if you want, do you want me to send you a copy of this when this is done so you can yeah, sure. see it? Perfect. All right. Till then, you have a good night. Thank you again. Thank you again. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Bye.